All right, folks, let's talk about Ida and the power outage impact. Uh, and uh, I want to make a separate video about this. Uh, you can see that more or less this, this part of Louisiana is in a complete blackout over here. Uh, and fortunately, looks like, how's Baton Rouge doing? Where's Baton Rouge? Where is Baton Rouge? I can't even find it. Uh, Baton Rouge may not be doing too bad, actually. Yeah, yeah, they're not doing as bad. Well, yeah, they are doing. Yeah, there's some outages, but not as bad as the New Orleans area. And it's a complete blackout because the transmission system has been destroyed in this area. Uh, and uh, Mississippi also seen those impacts, too, in the southern part of the state as well. Uh, and there's some articles about this I want to read here. Uh, Entergy is assessing damage. Uh, so, uh, and this is, this is the... F this is pretty historic because this is the first time a hurricane has actually caused substantial damage to a power transmission system. Uh, so an anticipated storm team of more than 20,000 and growing has begun assessing the vast damage and destruction across New Orleans and southeastern Louisiana caused by Hurricane Ida's landfall on Sunday. The catastrophic Category 4 hurricanes, brutal winds, and torrential rainfall toppled transmission at power poles and other equipment. Uh, so damage to eight High voltage lines took out power for New Orleans and Jefferson, St. Bernard and Plaquemines parishes, as well as St. Charles and Terrebonne parishes. One transmission tower near Avondale fell Saturday night, causing the towers, conductor, and wires to land in the Mississippi River. So uh, I imagine they have that close to ships because otherwise it's going to snag those wires. As a result of Hurricane Ida's intensity, major transmission lines that deliver the power to numerous Louisiana parishes are currently out of service. At 150 miles an hour, Hurricane Ida's winds were incredibly devastating. Uh, and uh, now that Ida has moved out of the area, Entergy is conducting inspections. Uh, so it's going to take some time uh, to get the power back on here. Uh, and uh, if we look at some pictures here, let's go ahead and look at this. Here, uh, you will see here what I'm talking about here. Uh, this image right here of a transmission power. Let's get that in the center of there. There you go. Look at that. The power transmission tower that fell down. Uh, so there are a lot of scenes like that all over uh, Louisiana here. Uh, and there's, you know, not to mention the flooding uh, and stuff. But here you go. Here's another one. Uh, I mean, these are metal. Uh, look at these. Uh, these are metal here. Uh, let's get this off here. Uh, so here's another picture here. Metal. This is a metal pole that came down. All right. So um, it's not just wood that broke. It's it's a metal. It's just actual transmission lines, uh, metal transmission lines that have come down and taken out power. And uh, they're gonna have to rebuild the whole freaking grid here. Uh, it's it's crazy. And there's a whole another. There's a video of a tower too that came down uh, as well. Um, uh, we can do this here, enter Gida Tower. Let's see. So, let's see if we can get some more pictures of that tower that came down here. Um, of course, aren't a whole lot of pictures. Um, um, let's see. We got here. This one's WAF. Yeah, this is what it looked like before, and then that tower came down. So, I have an article for you on this as well. Ida knocks out transmission service into New Orleans. Those in the hardest hit areas could experience outages for weeks. Hurricane Ida made landfall at 11.55 a.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time is a category uh, on August 29th. It's a category 4 hurricane near Port Fouchon, Louisiana, with maximum sustained winds of 150 miles an hour. Ida is one of the strongest storms to make landfall in Louisiana and retain hurricane status. Uh, those in the hardest hit areas could experience power outages through weeks. At 7 a.m., Entergy had 888, 20, 229 power outages in Louisiana due to Ida's destruction. Uh, and power outages continue. Uh, as a result of Hurricane Ida's catastrophic intensity, major transmission lines that deliver power into New Orleans are currently out of service. At 8 a.m., across the area, 216 substations, 207 transmission lines, and more than 2,000 miles of transmission lines are out of service. Entergy knows of one transmission line that spans the Mississippi River that is down. The destroyed tower withstood Hurricane Katrina that struck the area in 2005. 
when weather permits, Entergy will be out and uh, they will be inspecting this. Uh, so there's a lot to assess here. They're working with the New Orleans Sewage and Water Board uh, to offer backup generation as well. Uh, and this, this is really, really bad. This is really, 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 really bad. And I, I want to just go and look at Twitter and see if we can get some more information here. Just Twitter.com and uh, look out some more information here. Of course, you know, Twitter, you are such a pain. They, 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 lately, they crack down people who don't have accounts. I don't want to get a Twitter account. I don't happen to like Twitter, but I have to use it uh, uh, to... Uh, and we can put Ida here, and yeah, let's just show you some images here. Of uh, so the the levees and flood walls that protect New Orleans held up. That's very good. That is very good. Uh, but some suburbs did have flooding uh, as well. Um, and uh, you can see again some of the damage here. Uh, Port Fouchon really got hit hard. That was where it made landfall. Uh, and let's. Uh, Let's see if we can get some more images of uh, power lines here. Outage or something like that. Some more images of the power lines that have come down because that's what we're talking about here in this article here. And, uh, well, I don't know. Not a whole lot of pictures of these collapsed towers. Because you'd think there would be. Uh, here we go. Here's a here's a here's another picture of one here uh, of a collapsed tower here. Um, so you'd think there would be some more, but this is some of the pictures here. Uh, these are sub-transmission lines, distribution lines. Um, uh, the, 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 this is uh, this is uh, this is the tower that collapsed. It's it's crazy. Look at that. Um, uh, the, those lattice towers. It's also there's some rust on there, which is a little bit of a concern. And again, like I said in the video last night. Uh, their infrastructure wasn't up to the task, and you know it was not up to the task at all. I mean, there would have been lines going down, but the, to have these old lattice structures, you know, you can't have lattice structures like that. So let's see um, in, in a hurricane area because they're not strong enough. They're not strong enough. Uh, let's see. There's another image here. Um, there's a distribution line. They really don't have a whole lot of pictures, so I shared what I could of uh, of what happened, uh, but we'll have more information in the coming days. I guess it's just very slow getting these pictures out. Uh, um, and look, JCPNL is sending sending help too, uh, First Energy as well. Uh, let's see, maybe Entergy Louisiana has some more images here. Uh, here's a picture again of that collapsed tower, uh, uh, and here's yeah, here you go. So there you go. That's some broken wooden lines there. Uh, this is a another looks like a uh, wood, maybe 138 kV. Oh, no, that shouldn't even be using that on a 138 kV over there. Uh, but again, not a whole lot of pictures here. Uh, we'll see more in the coming days, and I'll share them with you because uh, this is quite historic here uh, to see uh, such a, a huge wide-scale power outage. Uh, and again, if we go to poweroutage.us. Uh, and look at the amount of people without power in Louisiana. We are over a million here. One million, over one million people without power in Louisiana right now. So that is quite incredible. Just for one state, and it's not even that big of a state. Uh, it just shows you the destruction that a Category 4 hurricane can cause. So that's going to wrap up this video on uh, Ida. And, of course, it's going to be really, it's going to take a very long time to get the power back in this area. Can't imagine. This is just another reason why this area... Uh, uh, those who haven't evacuated need to leave and uh, those who have evacuated need to stay away uh, until things get straightened out and it's going to probably take weeks if not months uh, so uh, that is going to be it for this video thanks for watching